Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another City Skylines Let's Play. We are back here in Bayview Heights for today. Our mayor, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and our city planner, Frank Sinclair, are talking about how we can expand our city around and build around the lake. So we're trying to create points of interest. So what Frank Sinclair, our city planner, wants to do is build an amusement park and a zoo as our main focal points of this residential area and basically building or basically the idea is to build the residential kind of around our parks themselves so for this build you will need the city skylines park life dlc that should to give you a heads up so what frank wanted to do was he wanted to continue on the grid pattern that we currently have and as you can see here we're trying to get up to the very top of the major road without actually touching the major road. So basically we're trying to maximize our tile usage by continuing out the grid and just to make it look kind of, we want it symmetrical. So what I mean by symmetrical is we want it to look very similar and that like all these neighborhoods kind of look the same. They have the same feel because again, we are still in the same neighborhood in this part of our city. So what we're doing right now is we're, again, we're just finishing up the grid, nothing too crazy. Obviously, I think all of us can attest that the 10 by 10 unit is the best way to go. So what we're gonna do next for our residential area is I want to actually make sure we have a lot of parks. The reason behind the parks is pretty simple is they make people happy. As you can see, the green smiley faces that come off when you do press, it, press the button and build them. So what I wanted to do for this part is, I know Overcharge Egg does this all the time. Like he, he creates different size buildings. So what I wanted to do was bring in our first high density residential. And as you can see, I kind of get a little aggressive and I start just filling it in like crazy. But then I take away and make a different size. But for today, we want to get into that high density residential because we have a huge demand for it. And as you can see there, we at the bottom of the screen, we definitely do have that demand. So this area is going to definitely have a lot of people. So that's why I mentioned the point of interest. What I meant by a point of interest is people will need something to do. Like we have those city parks that are right in front of us that we just plop down. But honestly, I believe that, you know, an actual park is definitely the way to go. So now we, we hit kind of a snag. Um, we wanted to see, figure out what could we do over here. So I did extend out the grid. I know that's boring. I know, I know. But what I wanted to do was the bottom where, you know, the bottom of the screen, that empty space is going to be our amusement park. And the reason why I wanted to bring those other buildings and expand out that, that grid is we want shops and places where people can hang out and basically spend their money. So if they're spending the day at the zoo, we want them to go shopping at those shops. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory because we want people to spend their money. We want to make more money. Our city, Skyline City, wants to make money. I know, isn't that amazing? So what we're doing right now is we're just filling in all of the gaps to our parks just to make it a little bit more walkable. Obviously, I've said this before in this series and I'll say it again, like residents love to walk places. So having sidewalks, especially in a high residential, high density residential area is definitely, definitely something you need. So what I started to do after that was I wanted to district this. So I wanted to make it its own district. So please, if you're still watching, please hit a like and uh, leave a comment. What should I name? this district so please leave a comment and um definitely appreciate it so what we're doing with this district is eventually we want to build and create a certain district type and that's eventually what we're going to get into now that we have everything and all the parks in place not the parks but like we have our basic layout in place what we could start to do is build up our amusement park this is actually um I, i'll be honest with you this is me going off of any script i had um, this is not a very big amusement park, so everything is going to be very tight and compact. So, um, you know, maybe if you are building your own amusement park, I guess what I'm going to just say is leave more room um, than I did. I, I squeezed it in here and yeah, I, I know. I know that. So anyways, all right. So we have our amusement park entrance in place. 
what before we get into actually building the amusement park what we're going to do next is you could see that wonderful straightaway by the way the the stupid amusement park entrance is not we can't center it so that really does stink but what, what i wanted to do was i wanted to add a grand library so we have like kind of like a cool view and the grand library is one of those monuments that is it's a really really nice building but we wanted to have that nice view from our amusement park entrance that was off center yeah i know remember it's an odd number of squares not even so we couldn't actually do anything about it but overall I like the start of this neighborhood. We, I am going to speed this up a little bit because we are just adding paths. I know this is going double speed. I know, I know you guys are probably sick of seeing paths and whatnot and me deleting them, but you know, double speed, you know, more fun to be had. Anyways, now that we have those paths in place, we have pretty much everything we need to actually start to grow things in our, that part of our city. But you do want to remember to add services. So right now I did add a healthcare clinic. I did add a crematorium. I wanted to put that off to the side because I don't want that to be like very prominent in our build. <laughs> then, so now that we have a couple services, what I wanted to add was a couple different bus lines around our high density residential area. So we have it to the bus hub and then we have a buses going around the circuit itself. Then we are adding our third layer of transportation is our tram so i want to definitely expand out our tram lines we want to make sure that our points of interest aka our city skylines park life parks well they have people they have accessibility for people to actually get there so right now we do have that we do have the tram tracks and right now wow i'm struggling i was trying to find the tram lines to create <laughs> to create a tram stop so right here i am creating the tram stop Tran. Wow. Let's speak English there, sports monkey. Anyways, um, as I speed it up, I am creating the tram lines around. So we have actual places where people can actually go from the residential neighborhoods. Well, on top of our high density, but go from our low density residential all the way back to our high density and our city um, amusement park. So really cool. It's good to have that, by the way, guys. So now that we started rendering some of the buildings, you're going to see that they're starting to grow. So I did want to add a certain style. So I did choose, um, I believe, you know, I'm doing a voiceover. So I chose the mid century modern buildings. So those are really nice buildings, but I'm not sure. I'm going to leave you a cliffhanger because I'm not sure if that's actually going to work. So what we're going to do next is we are also going to um, add a high rise ban. As you can tell, I am struggling to find it, but I eventually do find it. So high rise ban, we do not want super big towers. That is like the name of the game. We do not want these huge towers just to take up all the space. This is not our downtown. So that's why we do not want super high towers and we do not want high rises. So we got rid of that. Okay. So now that we have actually people around our, uh, well, around our amusement park, well, we'll actually, yeah, that we actually have customers. That, that's, that's actually kind of a big deal. So what I wanted to do next was I wanted to add a couple parking lots to our amusement park because, hey, if you've ever gone to any amusement park, they have 8 million different parking spots. Sometimes the parking lots are bigger than the actual amusement park themselves. Yes, if you don't believe me, this, I know I'm not talking about amusement park here in city skylines but check out disney world some of the parking lots in disney world are bigger than the parks themselves so let's get into building the amusement park you can actually fact check me on that one i believe it's epcot or one of those animal kingdom or no animal kingdom's huge anyways let's get back to this um you could fact check me on that so what we're doing is with this amusement park we have a we we're level one or we're one star um amusement park so what we're trying to do is we're we don't have much space. So I am trying to build the carousel, the plaza, and ooh, that's, yeah, that's not, ooh, there we go. You can see I also have a city park in there. Um, but anyways, what we're trying to do is keep everything tight and compact together so that we don't run out of space. Like these, are, these beginning um, one star rides and gift shops and stuff like that you know they're very small like you can see here we have the plaza and we have the merry-go-round they're not very big by any means but as you get bigger you get the roller coasters you get the 
Ferris wheel and stuff like that, you're, you know, you're running out of space really, really, really fast, especially we're at the edge of the peninsula where we don't have much space to begin with. So again, I'm going to say second disclaimer, I'm going to say again, leave yourself a lot more space than what I did in my city. So now that we added a souvenir stall, a bathroom, what we're going to do is we will add just a couple more things and then um, we're adding games at the either end of these. And again, this is just a very, very small square. Now, before you make a comment or an assumption, you're like, oh my God, this is boring. Why am I watching your video? Well, I am going to do a little bit of detailing, but like when you when you see the very end result, when you add trees, when you add major detailing to your parks, like right there, I am adding bushes. I want to get rid of that space. But even when you add these like small bushes, like, you know, I know they're only bushes and I know, you know, they're very close together, which is fine because bushes in general, um, they're hedge, they're actually called hedges um, here in the United States. But you know, when they're all together like that, like look, adding the trees and stuff like that, it looks good. Like the detailing and, but we're, we're not there yet. I mean, we're, we're there where we're actually doing some of the detailing now, but like, this is not the major, major, major detailing. So we'll get more into that as time goes on. So make sure when, um, if you're still with me, make sure you maximize your ticket prices. Cause we want to make money entertainment wise. We have plenty of that. We're waiting for 500 visitors or guests. So make it, um, make sure you add your policies, the advertising campaign and making a main park. We want to attract more people to our city skylines, park life, amusement park. So, so far so good. Now the tram, okay. People aren't really using it. All right. But you can see we have tram stops. We have pretty much everything we want in place so far. So good. And those are, remember those are commercial buildings. So people are going to be able to shop there. So now I am going to speed this up a little bit. I am going to go three speed. We are going to fill in more commercial because well, we have more commercial demand and we are going to add more high density residential. Now, as you see this build continuing, we're not to the point where this happened, but some of these buildings are starting to get a little bit too high and they're starting to not look at all what I wanted. But again, right now we're just adding trees. We're detailing. We're making sure we're filling in those gaps. And it's absolutely essential when you are playing city skylines. So what I wanted to do next was I wanted to keep expanding around our lake. So we are using the city skylines terrain tool. So this is where it gets tricky because, um, you know, you could soften the terrain and just make it look nice. Now city planner plays loves, like I will say loves following the train, but in this situation, I honestly did not like that. I was not a fan of that by any means, but anyways, um, so I'm just continuing our grid as best as possible. Um, you know, we did hit the edge of the lake, so I guess that's something to keep in mind. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, we hit the, we hit the lake and we needed to make a major road, but what we're doing now is we are expanding out. We're, we're expanding past the, we're getting more and more around the lake. Like we're only like three fourths around the lake, which is absolutely insane to me because we have such a long way to go. So very cool start. So see how, by the way, see how those train, uh, the, uh, Metro train stations, remember that they were somewhat naked. We'll call it because their last episode, if you go check back the last episode, they were literally left by themselves with just a wind turbine to power them. Yeah. That's what, where we left them off. That's pretty embarrassing. They were lonely. So, um, to make them unlonely, what I wanted to do was obviously we're going to keep expanding our residential area, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to create shopping, um, in front of the Metro station because, Hey, we want to attract people. You know what I mean? Like eventually we are filling in more and more. I know you can see we're filling in more and more residential because a, we have the, the demand, but eventually we, we are going to get to the commercial area, but if you are building a train station of any sort, make sure you have shopping and give people, give tourists, give your citizens a reason to go shopping and take that Metro line. You know, th this way they actually have a reason like, Oh, you know, man, my favorite, you know, I, coach is there like, you know, or Prada, you know, there's a, 
you know, I, I'm just making that up because, but like, you know, there's places where there might be a specific area where you're like, oh my gosh, like, you know, I want to go shopping there. So now that we have all of our buildings in place, you can, you can definitely see guys that, oof, like these, these buildings are getting way too high, but we're, we're getting there. I promise you we're getting to the point where this is going to get fixed. We're just doing some terrain editing to make sure that the tearing and stuff like that, it's not really doing much to be honest with you. If I were to be completely honest with you, the softening the terrain tool is not like it's working there, but against the buildings, the buildings have such a prominent, you know, they're using the tiles and they have such a prominent, you know, you can't really edit it just to just being honest with you. So let's go over, let's go back to where we want to expand our, um, more residential basically. So what I wanted to do is we are following the lake and we're just following the curve of the lake. You can see we're just following the same roads that we had built out already from our previous video. Yeah, I know it all, all of this symmetry seems like it was well planned. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Anyways, I thought that was funny, but I can, I can laugh at myself because well, I made the joke and I'm the one on the microphone. So what we're going to continue to do is use our 10 units out and just just keep keep the turn and keep, you know, just making sure everything stays symmetrical. And that's what we've done for this part of town. Now, obviously, this is not our downtown. Just to let you know, FYI, this is not a downtown area just to make sure that you all understand that. And the reason behind that is because we're just, this is our just small town. You know, this is Bayview Heights, but we're only like the Heights part. We haven't even gotten to the downtown Bay, Bay part. By the way, how corny of a joke was that? I just want to let you know that was a very corny joke on my part. And <laughs> anyways, um, so now that we have some of our residential in like some of our road layout in place, what we need to do is I, I do want to create a very special um, just kind of like a city center or a town center. Like I know this is not a town. This is a very small part of a town, but I wanted just to add like just a change up from the grid. So it's not all gritty. What I wanted to do is I added in that loop and then I fin finished out the, <laughs> the grid itself. And oh, those buildings are not what we wanted. I'm just being honest with you guys. Just being honest. Those buildings were not what we wanted. So in this part of our build, we are starting to build the zoo. So remember what I said, points of interest. And so points of interest can either be monuments that we've actually placed throughout our city, or it can be these parks. And we have the zoo. So the amusement park that we've started is a really good example of it. But then also the zoo, like these city skylines, park life parks are amazing because a, like we already showed this, so I'm not, you know, I'm pointing out the obvious, but you can actually make money from these and they look really, really good in your city. So now that we have the main entrance to the zoo created, we do need to start to create a layout. Again, I'm going to just give you a disclaimer. Make sure you give you yourself more room to build a zoo in sea skylines. I went for the very tight approach. Um, this, this is, this would kind of remind me of central park in New York city. Like there is a zoo in central park and essentially it is kind of crammed in there. Um, you know, so just keep that in mind. Anyways, I am doing train editing to make sure that everything is flat when we actually do create it. Then we are softening the train by making sure everything is not as harsh and it all blends in. It looks Honestly, that, that terrain editing there, I'm going to give myself credit. I think I did a great job there. I usually don't do a great job with terrain editing. What do you guys think in the comments section below? Like terrain editing, like I usually suck at it. I'm just being completely honest with you. I, I'm usually really bad at it. So what we're going to do next is this zoo needs to be very, very tight and compact. The reason behind that is some of these... Um, it's not amusement parks, Jesus. We're playing zoo. Some of the, some of these exhibits. I was searching for the word exhibit because this isn't, you know, it. An exhibit is what you go to a zoo for. An amusement park ride, obviously. Well, that's self-explanatory. But when you go to the zoo, you go to an exhibit. All these are exhibits. So what what I just did was I added two side gates to get in and out of our lovely zoo. Because remember, hey. 
Remember, just just remember, we're going to have residential all around this. We want people to go through that main gate, but we also want them to use the side gate because we need people to pay for tickets and give us a lot of money, you know? <laughs> so what we need to do next is this is where everything gets extremely, I'm going to call it extremely tricky. So with these city skylines, zoos, most of them do snap into place. Like right there, we have the birdcage. It does snap in place and it goes along the path just fine. Um, it, it works out great. But some of these other exhibits, they have a mind of their own where you can you can actually place them and then you can build um, like the paths around them. So I guess, so when I am, again, I am doing a voiceover, so I am completely forgetting that I added two different exhibits that just snap right onto the road, but Hey, you know what? Forgive me. We are 20 minutes in and it is what it is. But anyways, we are going to use the movement mod, move that over. So we are cheating a little bit, but I guess we could have done it without it. I think I just didn't want to replace it, but that's, that's just me. Anyway, so let's place down that our second exhibit for $15,000. And before you guys give me more grief in the comment section below, I do know that we do need to detail this. So right now it's very plain, very vanilla. Like the second gate kind of had a weird turn to it. But when we add the trees and we add detailing, I promise you, you won't even notice it has a weird turn. So, so far, so good. We are adding souvenir stalls. We added a restaurant. We added a um, bathroom. So, so far, so good at literally adding everything we can add. Oh, and there is our, oh, see, you could see that. There's our antelope and you can see there, look it. It already has a path to it. So now it gets really confusing because, well, there you go. So I fixed it. But I guess my point is, is some of these are just like floating exhibits where you have to, they already have paths and you just have to connect them up. So it's a little bit different than the amusement parks and the city parks because, well, they already have paths around the exhibit. So it's kind of interesting, but so far so good. The zoo is doing all right. The zoo had no power. So I did add power and I gave it water. So what we're going to start to do now is we need to build around our zoo. And I don't mean the zoo itself. I just mean we need to, we need people to actually show up to the zoo. We need paying customers so we don't lose money. That's honestly huge, by the way. The whole point of City Skylines is to not lose money. I don't know if any of you knew that ahead of time. So what I wanted to do was I kind of wanted to create a slightly off-centered, uh, wow, Wow, I'm looking back at this. I do fix this later on, but holy cow, that is not centered at all. Holy moly. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I will detail this up with those bushes. I do love those bushes, by the way. So when you're using the prop line tool from Game Anarchy, oh my god, it makes building trees and stuff like that so much easier. Like I just made those three lines like of bushes and those flowers like in two seconds versus single clicking and going through that. So, wow. So, all right. So we have zero demand for residential. So that's bad. Um, obviously really bad news, but we do need to keep plowing forward. I think we're going to, we're going to keep going forward and we are going to still build up this part of our lake because Hey, we have lots of demand for, for, wow. We have lots of commercial demand. We have a lots of industrial Wait, guys, guys, Oh my God, we have industrial demand. I don't know if any of you noticed this, but like a week ago, I like complained in my City Skylines YouTube channel. I said, I have an issue. I have an issue. Help me. I honestly, for some reason, the industry demand like went away and I don't, at least it's back. Finally, it's back. Jesus, it was insane. I didn't know what was going on. So what we're doing is after we district it, I added the wall to wall buildings because I, I felt like at the time, the time of the build, I felt like wall to wall was the best way to go. So while we're waiting for more residential, we do want to expand our amusement park because we are a two star amusement park and we really did not get much. We have the teacups, which is I'm going to place right there. And then the other one is like the Piggly Wiggly train, train ride. Piggly Wiggly. Does that? Yeah, that sounds about right. Piggly Wiggly. So we, we are making twenty four dollars a ticket or a guest and we have plenty of entertainment. We're just waiting for more people to come in, but I kind of really do like the way this is turning out. Now these buildings on the other hand, ugh, they're too tall. 
I can you guys at least agree that they are way, 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 way too tall. And I'm not we're not very happy about it. So what we're going to do next is we are going to bring in the City Skylines new content creator pack. So obviously you I'm I'm just I've said it like four times like those buildings are way, way, way too tall for what we want. So we have the Brooklyn district and we are going to change it from mid-century modern to the Brooklyn and Queens content creator pack. And obviously I know everybody knows this, but, and oh, make sure. Yeah. The high rise ban, we got rid of that because, well, you're going to see that none of these have a high rise. So the new city skylines, Brooklyn and Queens content creator pack are all residential buildings. So all of our residential buildings that were built in this area, oh God, it is a, going to be a mass exodus of buildings. And you're going to just see all these buildings just change and look different. And oh, those are ugly. We are going to eventually fix the middle ones. The middle buildings I'm not a fan of at all right now. Um, yeah, those are really ugly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of those wall to wall. And we're just going to make sure that I'm, I'm searching for it now. Yeah, I don't. Oh, my God. How many times? Anyways, we're going to use the environmental ones. Um, it's the local organic and produce building. So obviously we're going to lose our commercial. So we're actually going to lose a lot here. We're going to lose a lot of residents and we're going to lose our commercial. So basically any progress we made with our amusement park and people visiting it, um, we just killed all those people off. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, we're negative a lot of people. But these new content creator packs, so if you... I, I know if, if you if you saw my review, I kind of did this during my review, but like these buildings are Brooklyn that like if you've ever gone to New York City, these were inspired by Brooklyn and New York. So it's just outside New York. Well, it's in New York City. It's not outside. But anyways, these brick buildings are absolutely amazing. And so far, I am not liking the way those buildings look. We Those commercial buildings look ugly. So instead of waiting for them to render, I'm just going to demolish them because they look so they look terrible. They honestly look awful. I mean, that slightly tall one looks good. The brick ones that are the same exact building from us look good. But like, if you look here, the local organic produce, like I know it's a public market, but like, I just feel like these smaller shops give a more friendly vibe. So we're, we're going to let that fill in. So let's, let's get back from the ADD and let's just go back to what I was saying before. So the Brooklyn and Queens content creator pack has about 60 new buildings and you could see it render in and they're, oh yeah, they're filling it. They're filling in really nicely. Well, when you take out a neighborhood, you know, city skylines will need to replace the neighborhood eventually. So look, look at these small buildings and stuff like that. Ooh, yeah, yeah, let's get rid of that. We want more of the shops that you see in front of you to be a part of a park, part, part of our park. That's horrible English. Anyways, I do love those smaller buildings and wow, you can see the new content creator pack just building in. Ha oh, oh, oh. like if I could add that little gif thing, holy cow. It's just I'm just excited where this build is going and things are looking really 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 good. So so far they are filling in nicely and I know I know most of you are probably not watching this point but if you are I greatly appreciate it. please comment below if you're still watching and I will give out a free giveaway next time I do a live stream so just let you know um you know just just making sure so everything so I'm speeding this up a little bit three speed and everything is filling in and those buildings look amazing okay so step one, those buildings look amazing. So we are off to a really, really good start. So let's click on some of these buildings real fast. Like you could see they are not towers. Yeah, they're not the huge towers that we didn't want. So they do have 14 households, 19. They are high density residential buildings, but they do not go high. Hey, go figure. So anyways, we do have some problems with employees, but that will soon honestly get fixed because, well, you can see all those residents are coming back. So, so far, so good. And let's just do a quick look at our amusement park. We did level up while we were gone. So we have the teacups. We have the piggy train. We have everything there. So everything. Yeah, that's the piggy train. I was right about that before, by the way. So teacups, everything's looking good with 
our park and yeah we just need to wait till it hits 20 we're almost there at 2500 so it's 2120 um, gas and we need to be at 2500 so we will be leveling up very 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 shortly so definitely exciting so while you guys were gone so while we're waiting for our park to level up i did add a generic industrial area because we had such a huge demand we had the max out demand and that honestly um well yeah it it's it's working really well because well we already have tons of demand but what i want to do for over here is the generic industry does not work for me anymore i'm sorry everybody so there is a new content creator pack it is called city skylines industrial evolution yeah e evolution not industrial revolution evolution and what's really cool about this content creator pack is you're going to notice a couple things you're going to notice with this content creator pack that um these buildings will look amazing in a residential area they they fill in so nicely to that area because they're warehouses so like you see all these smokestacks at first you're like oh that does not work okay well there's three tiers of this industrial evolution you're going to see a lot of brick right there it's already going to a brick but then you saw another building go from a brick building to a warehouse so there's actually there's the brick historical buildings then you have the lightly modern buildings then you have a fully modern industrial building and as you can see in front of you like some of these are changing right now these will work in a residential area or close by residential area they'll kind of just blend in really really nicely and that was the whole point of this whole thing was I didn't want those red bricks just to be honest with you I did not want the red brick I mean no not the red brick from the content creator pack the red brick from the basic historical buildings of the city skylines um industrial evolution but so far so good guys i'm really happy with the way this build is turning out and everything is filling in really nice so chirpy land is on oh and it just updated we are now a three star amusement park so this is where things get a little bit interesting with amusement parks you have a few more ride options like the bumper cars and then you get the pirate ship swing and then you get the haunted house and some of these buildings are start not building some of these rides are definitely getting bigger so what we're doing next is we're keeping everything still very tight and compact together um, as you can see here the the haunted house is probably our biggest building besides the plaza and i was just trying to figure out a an organic place to put it so our piggy train our favorite ride in this whole city skylines amusement park industry we are going to move it actually you know it's funny too in real life um amusement parks actually do shuffle around rides sometimes so that's just something also to keep in mind is they do they do do that so i mean this is somewhat realistic it's not evident domain like city planner always likes to mention but um you know amusement parks do move around a park from time to time so now that we have the haunted house down we just, our last one is the pendulum swing and again keeping all of our roads everything compact and tight and you know i, I kind of like I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of like this idea of keeping all of the rides and paths and everything just super close. I actually kind of like it. I'm a fan of it. Definitely a fan of it. So there we go. We have our swinging ship and that is the last. So we had, um, remember, we had only a few different options for um, rides to build. And we basically maxed out everything. This is the best we can do, honestly. This is, we have bought every single ride. We have every single kiosk stall. We have everything you can want and more wow that was really corny anyway so let's start let's start to detail this up with trees and before you go oh my god you're just adding trees well trees make they can make or break your city like a lot they do amazing things for your city let's let's be honest guys detailing does a ton and it's just something you know to keep in mind just adding trees in general just makes the build so much better now we're back here all right we did a little bit of detailing but what we want to do next is i kind of wanted to expand out our residential area a little bit more in this corner we i wanted to make sure like i wanted to use those q um they're called q walls yeah it's it's q u e y q walls 
Now, if you're playing on a console, I have bad news for you because, um, well, you can't do what I just did, but if you're on a PC, it works out just fine. So just adding more residential, adding more, you know, places where people can live and stuff like that. And everything grows really, really nicely at a really good pace. Now, eventually what we're going to do is I am speeding up the rendering. And what I'm trying to do is I want the water to go right next to the Q wall. So as you can see here, I'm digging out some of the dirt from underneath it. Now, be aware, warning, warning, warning. Yeah, I don't know how many times I could tell you warning. You can potentially flood your city if you do this incorrectly. Like you could see to the right, um, things were getting a little shady. So what I did was I added a Q wall for the most part around anything that had value. So our amusement park, we did not want flooded, our zoo and stuff like that. Anyways, what I'm starting to do is I'm starting to detail and add a few more trees. And there we go. We we're just waiting for um, our zoo to upgrade. But you could just see the trees alone. Just they, It makes a huge difference in how it looks. It looks a lot less naked without the trees. And I'm Oh, I'm sorry. We had an amusement park upgrade. Gosh, we're a four-star amusement park. Jeez, I was, that's why I was placing down the trees. Oh, So right there, we have the power tower. And this is the new... So I'm about to place down what's called the log flume. This is the new ride from the city skylines update. And let's just take a real quick look. I do want to place down that swinger and then we do want to add paths, but let's take a quick look at this log flume. So this is new. This is from the update. It looks really, really good. Wow. That's a, do they actually have a log that goes down? You can see the water flowing, but I don't know if they actually have a log going down it. I don't see that, but Hey, at least they had the water flowing anyways. Let's connect this up real quick to, um, and, you know, make sure people can actually go on it. So we, we do need to connect it to our main part of our amusement park. And there we go. So I did. Um, so I'm just going to be honest with you guys. We needed to add more suit. We needed to bump the entertainment value of our amusement park. So what I did was I added a couple amusement, um, amusement. Oh my God. I added a couple uh, souvenir stalls a few more games and stuff like that just to add to that value um i did add i did cheat i did duplicate a ride because well we needed that entertainment value to go up so anyways um yeah so far so good though with this park i really do like it so we definitely need more entertainment oh god like it's kind of like we're forcing it a little bit but we'll wait till we get more people and now hey guys by the way we are now a two star zoo. So let's expand that while we're waiting on our amusement park. So remember amusement park wise, we have the bison. Oh God, that thing is huge. Wow. That bison encounter is massive, but I feel like the, the bison encounter, if we place it right along the queue, I think remember it's one of those floating buildings that already have paths. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, it's floating and I do see that it is not properly aligned. Oh, and there is the reptile um, house. It is the amphibian and reptile house. So we did add that. So that fit really nicely. Then this building. Okay, guys, what in God's world is that? Bu that building is new, by the way. So we're going to zoom in on it in a couple seconds. But I do like the distance between everything in the zoo. It does look good. Um, so let's take a peek. What in God's world is that? The Targer house. I, I don't, what is a Targer? I don't know. It's, is it like a bear? I don't know. I honestly don't know. All right. So now that we are done with that, there are our bison. They, they look happy. Our reptiles, I can't really tell. They're all indoors. I don't know what the hell they're, they're doing. Anyways, guys. So we're almost towards the very end. We have a long way to go before we upgrade and, you know, get to a three or four star. So we have a long way to go with the zoo. Oof. But our ticket price is $23. All right, not bad. And 2,500 visitors. So, so far, so good. And then let's check it out. We need 10,000 guests. Holy cow, that's a, that's, that is a lot. So what I'm doing, guys, is welcome back to Bayview Heights. I'm just going to show it off. I cannot show you everything. Like, I did not want you guys to wait any longer to show you what we did with our amusement park and our zoo. You can tell with the trees and everything, I did add cue walls. Like, basically, the part of the earth was torn so i did add q walls kind of like support for the rides and the amusement park itself i did place a roller coaster at the bottom and we are a four star or five star amusement park but 
We're making tons of money. And then there you go. There's our end result of our Brooklyn and Queens district. Like I love those four parks in the middle. Like I, I guess I could have put baseball fields essentially, but I like the way all of this looks and it just, it works like those Q walls. I do like those them there because again, it makes it look more real realistic. Like the path is being held up by something and guys like here's our zoo. Like, Holy cow. We are a five-star zoo. We're making $3,000. We're charging $40 a ticket. Like absolutely amazing when everything filled in with the trees and the shrubs. And I told you guys, I told you, I told you that everything was going to look good. There we go. So we have our straight on entrance, like this whole corner, this whole lake turned out beautiful. Like I can't even begin to tell you how nice I, I feel like the new city skylines content creator packs honestly saved the day. And I didn't even intentionally do that. So like, here's your three tier industrial evolution. Like those are so much better than like, well, Ooh, that, that tall, that tall it building should not be there. But like, look at these tier threes just look so much better than the generic industry. Like, Oh, they fit in so much nicer in this area. Honestly, like, let's be honest. Like you can, like, you can kind of think it's a commercial building. Like, honestly. So I did add, um, just while you guys were gone, I did add another weird entrance and interchange. You could see that above you. Um, it was a turbine interchange. We needed another way in and out because we had a ton of traffic there, um, right where you're looking in that part of our city. So that eliminated the traffic tremendously. Like there's barely any because of that one on and off ramp, which is absolutely amazing. Like our city traffic flow so far is phenomenal. So right there is our last entry, um, last empty space. I don't know what I'm going to do yet with that area. I think I'll figure it out as time goes on, but guys, please let me know in the comment section below. Did you like watching this video? Did you get anything out of it? Do you have anything you want to let me know about in the future? Hey, you should do this. You should do that. Please let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.